Red in India is as much a color as it is a concept. Within the many shades of red lie ideas that span a spectrum of meaning, from Shingar, Shakti to the Lal Salam. This is our tiny, tiny journey into the vast and deep world of the color red, a color as fundamental as blood. You know, the word uh, for red in Sanskrit is uh, uh, rakta. Rakta meaning red. It also the word for blood. It comes from the Sanskrit word raj or ranj. So raj also means uh, to color, to envelope, to drench, and therefore it has at one level it has the connotation of just coloring. So you dye a cloth, uh, you know. At another level, uh, it also means. Uh, being soaked in emotion. So uh, when somebody is uh, like uh, uh, watching a performance and gets extremely emotionally moved, then you say he is Ranjit or she is Ranjit. Ranjit means she is colored but colored by emotion. And uh, that is why the word Manoranjan, which also comes from uh, the same root which colors you. Red as a color of performance is most vividly etched in Kerala, where in the lush greens of the state, the color stands out as a striking and somewhat symbolic contrast. Traditional Kerala costumes, uh, the major color is white and sometimes off-white with a little bit of golden uh, tone to that. There is very little other colors that are used either by men or by women. And in that sense, red becomes a performative color. The appearance of red, the use of a red uttariya around the waist or the use of a, a red band on the shoulder is indicative of the change of that person from being an ordinary person to that of a performer. If you look at Theyam or Thira or all, all the, uh, the, the, the earlier or shall we say folk forms, the more fundamental forms, one thing that you find is that there is a much greater presence of red. Red there seems to indicate something, a greater form of life, a higher form of life. Gods, goddesses, demons, spirits. Red becomes synonymous with transference, the change from the human being or the human aspect to a godly or divine aspect. Moving from Theyam to forms like Kathakali or Kudiyatam, one finds that there is a much more systematic semiotic at work in there, where there is a kind of binary being constructed uh, between uh, green and red, where the green stands for heroism, for Vela, for goodness, etc. Rama and Krishna uh, or Yudhishthira are all green makeup while Duryodhana or Dushasana for that matter is uh, primarily punctuated by red. Here red indicates some kind of haughtiness, some kind of demonish aspect. <laughs> 